So I think the best grind ever is out. Starting off with the 85 player pit, we're going to go through every single SPC that's out in terms of challenges and upgrades, and I'm going to show you how to complete them as we go through. Now, I'm going to start off doing this way first to get all the packs out of the way. Then once we've done that, I'll show you how to do it from a low budget and nothing else. So we've got all of our 85 plus picks. I've won in a previous video. We are looking to get as much high rate fodder as we want because I want to complete the Hullet. I've already completed Player of the Month, Son, Mbappe, etc. Ooh. A cheeky Michael Owen, I'll take that. So you can see here, we've got ourselves a load of these duplicates. Now, these duplicates came from the 83 times 10. So with your duplicates, they're going to go back round. So we're going to go ahead and put them into the 83 times 10 again. I'll be right back once that's done. So all of our duplicates have gone in. Now, if you're wondering where to get a team in a week, don't worry, I've got you covered in that as well. But let's go ahead and open up this 83 times 10. So don't forget to send all of your duplicates back into your club. It's very important you do this every single time. Never leave a player behind. Make sure they go into any sort of SPC. Now, there's 83 times 10, depending on what you get. If you get a team in a week, you're laughing. You can go ahead and do it again for free. If you don't, I'll show you how to break it down. As we get so a French centre mid from PSG. Let's see what we got here. So we've got an 86, a load of 83s. Now, all of these cards here can go in to the 84, 83, 83, 83. can go back into the 83 times 10. Now, if you don't have a team of the week, go ahead and do the team of the week player pick. It's so cheap right now. We'll actually do that for the video just so you can see what it looks like. So this one here is there for five days, repeatable. They seem to refresh it every time. You just need 185 rated player and an 83 rated team. Very easy to get nowadays. And if you haven't got the stuff, again, I will get you covered. So let me go ahead and complete this SPC quickly. And then the second one, we need 284s and an 82 rated team. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that off camera. So that has been complete. Let's go ahead and open up our team of the week pick. Now, there are some really good team of the weeks in the packs. We're not really looking for them for that. We are looking to basically get ourselves an 83 or higher, which you're guaranteed to get. 87 Cruise is absolutely fantastic. If you want to do any of the Icon SPCs, even if you get an 83, don't worry, because your 83 can go back into the 83 times 10. So I'm going to go ahead and recycle these three players plus another team in a week into the 83 times 10. Do that every single day because you're going to get the best fodder back. Now, it's really easy to do once you do the first one. Once the first one is done and out of the way, you should be able to continue to do the rest. So you can see here we've got an 83 team in a week. There's our Cruise here. There are some of the other team in the weeks that we packed in previous videos so we're going to go ahead and put those duplicates in that i mentioned so our team of the week's gone in and then our three duplicates have also gone in so that's another 83 times 10 so in this video alone we've done 285 player picks 283 times 10 and i'm going to show you the next step on from this if you haven't got anything in your club so let's go ahead and send all of our duplicates into our club and see what we get back from our 83 times 10 so it's always important like i keep saying send everything back into your club because you need to get as many things back into your club for this to work now hopefully we get a special card which we do i'm not sure what it is like a triple threat the english left wing that's going to be 88 Grealish, i think it is which i'll take I think I already had him or I put him into an SBC. So we got him back again. That's fantastic. So we got an 88 Grealish. Is there anything else in this pack? Let's see. So what else is in this pack? No more team of the week. So let's say you did your last 83 times 10. Now you've got these 283s and these 384s. There are several things you can do. It's a little bit overkill, but you can go ahead and do the trading winter challenge. As you can see here, we've already put a little bit of a team into it. We can go ahead and put some of our duplicates in as well. But that's how easy it is to do. You can see here, we just need one more gold and we've got that complete. And again, do this every single day with any players you have. Make sure you go around and recycling. Because what's going to happen there is you're just going to get yourself another pack on top every single day. Now, some of your duplicates can go into that. They don't have to all go into that. There are also other SPCs you can do on top. Of course, we have mentioned the Team of the Week upgrade. You can go ahead and do Harry Kane if you want to do him. You're going to get so much fodder, you might as well go ahead and put them in. Di Lorenzo's a good shout. We've got Griffo here, which I'm probably going to go ahead and do. I don't need him for my team, but it's just someone else to be complete. We need 187 or higher and 84 rated team. So I'm just going to go back and check what my duplicates were again. So our 87's there, and then we've got all of our duplicates put in. Now, we have got ourselves an 86 Griffo. You can do this with any SPC. You can do a little bit of a Harlet, an Icon SPC, a base hero upgrade. Whatever you want to do, it's just an example of what you can do with some of this high rate of fodder that are duplicates. Now, again, you can see here, this can go back into our club, and then we get the rest of these players. So we've got ourselves a 386 from doing the grind. Now, let's say you're starting this from absolute minimum. You're going to want to head and do this daily gold upgrade. Now, this is really important you do this. Bronze pack method is going to be your best friend to get in the bronzes. All of your bronze commons that are off leagues, you know what off leagues are, I'll explain that in a second. Go into this. That's going to give you six bronze players pack. Then you can go ahead and sell them if they're worth anything or keep them in your club to complete that SPC again. The same for your silvers. Only silver commons into this. And you can rinse and repeat it round and round. And then they're going to be off leagues again. Only commons go into that. 
That's then going to give you 11 gold players. Now, these 11 gold players are so, so valuable. They're going to give you so many opportunities to do SPCs and much more. So if I back out again to the store, I will show you what to do with the rares in a second in terms of bronze rares and silver rares. But this 11 gold players pack you can see here is going to be your best friend for doing the grind from the start. Now, every single player in here, even if it's untradeable, has some sort of value in it. For example, um, an upgrade, a league SPC, upgrade, upgrade, league SPC, league SPC, upgrade, upgrade, league SPC, league SPC, and then we have another league SPC player. Now, if you're like me and have quite a lot of players that are tradable or untradable, you can go ahead and put them into your transfer list. If not, you can go and put them into an upgrade. So let me just break down where to put the bronze rares and silver rares and then break down what needs to be put into what upgrade and where. So in your icon tab here, you can see every single one of these icons has a bronze rare and a silver rare requirement. Go and put all of your bronze rares and silver rares you get in there that are off leagues into these SPCs. They're going to give you some more packs back to be able to do the gold upgrade every single day. Not only that, if you need the coins, you can go ahead and sell them or keep them for future things. But make sure they're off leagues. Again, if you don't know what off leagues are, I'll explain once we submitted this squad. But every single player here we don't need to use. Now to explain to you what an off league player is and an upgrade player is. We need to be looking at the Premier Mixed League upgrade and the Mixed League upgrade. Now, I've gone ahead and completed all of these already, but every single league you see here is a League SPC player, apart from League and Area Divisi. Now, this has changed. It's become way easier. You only need six players from one team, and then the rest can be bronze. So we've gone for Nice as our one team, which is a little bit of a C shape. And then the Era Divisi are bronze players. So whatever bronze players you want to use from League and Era Divisi, go ahead and use. But once you have that one team with five players or four players, buy the last two players you need, and you can go ahead and complete that with bronze pack method. It really doesn't matter what team you use. Now, that gives us a tradable pack. I'll explain what to do with your packs in a minute. But let's just go back a little step there and go back to what is an upgrade player. So the upgrade that I recommend doing right now is this Winter World Card Crafting Upgrade. I've just done a video on it. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But you're going to want to head and put in all of the gold players that are off league. So you want to go to high to low, set this to gold, press Y or triangle, press pause or start. And then you can see here, the Women's League we don't need, the Portuguese League we don't need. And we can go through one by one, breaking these down. Turkish League we don't need anymore. We don't need the Women's Serie A. And we can just go through one by one until we complete that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera now, or off camera now, sorry, and I'll be back once that's done. So that has been done. Now, the reason why this one's really important to do, not only does it give you three gold rare players, it also gives you an objective done. Now, if you don't know where that is, I'll just quickly show you. I won't go into too much detail. But go over to objectives. Go over to seasonal or live, I believe it is. Sorry. Scroll all the way down. And we've got it here. Now, you get packs and picks for every single thing you do and some badges and stuff on top. But once you've completed the entire thing, you'll get an 83 times 20 and an 83 times 10. So essentially an 83 times 30 altogether. So going back to our packs with our first pack that we got from the League SPC, which was Liga and Era Divisi. This one is tradable. It's a jumbo gold pack. Now, no matter what you get out of this pack, you're going to want to go ahead and sell. I need to go ahead and sort my duplicates out I've got. So I sorted them out. So going back to our tradable pack, it is going to be this jumbo gold pack. Now, you want to sell everything out of this pack, whether it's an icon, an Mbappe, the best player, your favorite player, etc. Sell all of them because that's where you're going to get your coins back. Now, we're going to discard all the contracts unless they sell. The same for the chem styles, the same for the leagues and anything and the managers and seats. Check all their prices and then go ahead and sell them. Now we get 1,300, well, sorry, 1,313 coins back from discarding and then we get the players back from what we, the coins back what we sold. Now moving back over to the League SPC, remember we just completed the League and Era Divisi. We've opened up our tradable pack. What to do with the untradable pack? So I've already gone ahead and completed the Libertadores and Sudamericana. Bear in mind, I do this grind all the time. So once the more you practice it, the better it comes. You can see here, everybody is first owner. FC24 has more packs in the store than I've ever seen. We have evolutions that cost you coins and points. Kit objectives that cost you coins and points. I have the perfect solution for you. Head over to u7buy.com. Select how many coins you want to purchase. Select your payment method. And don't forget to select add discount and put in code NANIC for that 6% off on all orders. Link will be down in the description. We've got ourselves a 74 rated team. We've got one gold, two gold, three gold, four gold, and that's it. Four golds all together. Or is that five? Sorry, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four golds all together. The rest are silvers. Now, you can get them from doing the bronze method upgrade into the gold upgrade and getting the league SPCs round and round and round. I will break down both of these for you. You get yourself a prime Electron Players Pack tradable, 
or untradeable, sorry, and then you get yourself a Bundesliga and Serie A. Again, this one's really easy to do. Go ahead and complete that. I usually do a thing where I get the chemistry with one league and then go ahead and complete with the other. So you can see here the four Serie A players have no chem, but I get the rating for us. Now that's completed. That gives us a small prime gold players pack tradable. And if we're completing the entire thing, we get ourselves a prime gold players pack untradeable. So let's go back to the store. We're going to go ahead and open up our first tradable pack that we got for completing Bundesliga and Serie A. And you are looking for this pack here, which I believe is going to be the... Is that the 821? Here we go. The 80 plus. Now, again, you want to go ahead and sell everything. Even if we get a winter wild card, that's the best player in the game. It's going to be Eze, who's not really worth anything. But again, that's 10,000 coins back from the league SBC. That's coming in at around, I don't even know, around 10, 20, 30, maybe 40k max. We've made some of our coins back there. He is price fixed. So I'm going to discard him. And I will go ahead and sell these cards later on in the video that you don't see now not to waste your time. But you can see how easy it is to make your money back. Always open up your tradable packs first because they are going to be the ones that you're going to get your, um, your coins from. And if they are untradable, you can go ahead and fix them. Then we get ourselves the next pack, which is going to be this Prime Election Players Pack Untradable. That's from the Sudamericana and Libertadores. Now, this pack is where you break everything down again. So, for example... That's a League SBC player, an upgrade, a League SBC player, upgrade. Silver rares can go into icons or League SPCs. All of those go into that. Actually, all of these silvers go into an SPC or a League SPC. Then we have ourselves two goals. Now, we've just gone ahead and we've completed the La Liga and Premier League so that Indigo Martinez can actually go straight back into the Premier League and La Liga. So we make our way back here. And now this is going to give us an 82 plus small rare goal players pack. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and go to the center back, set this to our La Liga, get this to gold. And we're going to look for Indigo Martinez. There he is. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the chemistry ever so quickly with the things that I showed you. So we have gone ahead and put in five La Liga players. Now we are going to go get some Prem here. We are going to get one more La Liga player from a team we don't have. For example, this one, just to get the rares done. Now the last five can be any Premier League players that we choose, as long as they're not from the same team and we get the team rating overall. So I'm just going to make my way down here. It's around the 81 rated. So we're going to put Paqueta in. We're going to put Leno in. We're going to put Anthony in. We're going to go ahead and put Beto in as well. And that should be the SBC down once we get that last position. Done. You can see there, we've already done the rating and everything else. So we actually can go low to high here and set this to bronze or whatever else we have. We can put Whitworth in and there we go. We completed it. So not only have we got ourselves another pat back, we recycled our Indigo Martinez. Now, if you do the grind, like I said at the start, with the bronze and silvers into the daily gold upgrade, doing bronze pack method, you can get this done over and over and over. So we're going to go ahead and open up our small red gold players pack. Now we're going to send our Indigo Martinez back into our club, always recycling the cards. And then our small red gold players pack can go into this one here. Now, depending on what we get out of this, it doesn't look like it's a special card, unfortunately. Maybe a team of the week, which would be really helpful. So let's see. So we have got a team of the week. Now that can go into your first 83 times 10 if you want to, or any of the icon SBCs that you want to complete in terms of uh, Sabio, etc. Or any hero or icon SBCs that come out in the future. And then these three cards here can go back in. So for example... League SBC, League SBC, that's going to have to go into an upgrade because we just completed Prem and on the La Liga. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So our Prem player will go into the Winter Wildcard upgrade and then our Bundesliga and Serie A will go into the Prem or the Premier League SBC. Sorry, so let me go ahead and do that off camera now. So our Prem player has been recycled and then we have gone ahead and put in all the off-league cards into this upgrade. So we've got two of these done in this video, 285 picks, 283 times 10, a team of the week upgrade pick as well, as well as anything else we wanted to do, one of these uh, daily gold upgrades. So just to go back and recap where we are in terms of what needs to be recycled back into our club and what doesn't, we can go ahead and show you here. So our Alvarez has been recycled and saved. Now we're going to go ahead and do the Bundesliga and Serie A, which is going to be in the Premium League SBC. And then I'll show you how to do the mixed one after this. So let's go ahead and put a Hala and our Sanchez into this SBC now. So they've both been put in. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the chemistry and the team rating that I need to complete this, which we have done now. Now we're going to put the last three slots as a Bundesliga team. I don't know why I say slots. I meant slots, but you know what I mean. So we're looking for Bundesliga here. We are going to go a low to high, and we just don't need Borussia Dortmund or any other teams that are similar. So let's go around to the Union Berlin player. Becker can go in. Our next player here can be Bauman. And then Palacios should be able to do it as well. And that SBC should be done. So there we go. We've got ourselves another pack. Now this one is tradable. So we can send our duplicates that we did to recycle the Haller and Sanchez back into our club again. And then we can go ahead and open up this tradable pack. So let's go over to that scene now. 
So we just recycled them back into our club, Haller and Sanchez, and then we can go ahead and open up our, what's it, what pack was it? I can't remember now. It was going to be the small prime gold players pack, 80 plus guaranteed. So again, we're going to go ahead and sell and discard everything in this pack. Even if it's min price, we try and sell it. If it doesn't sell, we'll discard. But just for the video, we'll set them up to our transfer list for now. Now, moving over to the mixed league SPC. So not the premium one, the smaller one. This one has become unbelievably easy now because of bronze pack method and much more. So I've gone ahead and completed all of them ready to do this video. The hardest one for me personally is the MLS and championship because you need to have X amount of silvers and golds to get this done. But once you have, your team will look something like this. Now, this is going to give us a premium mixed players pack untradeable. Do the same thing with the premium mixed league SBC packs that are untradeable. Recycle them back round as you do. Then we have league and door or league, or I don't know how you're going to pronounce French League 2. And we have La Liga 2 as well. Again, very easy to do. You can see here, all silvers. We could actually go lower and put bronzes in, but I've got so many silvers from saving them from all of the upgrades we've done. Then we're going to move over to the Serie B, or Serie B, sorry, and the Bundesliga 2. Now, this one can be done solely with bronze pack method. It's absolutely mental. Just use all your bronze cards. You can see here we're missing one, so I'm going to go ahead and go to bronzes. We're just going to set this to bronze, low to high, go to Serie B, KT, and we can have a look. We don't need to put a rare in, but just for this video, we will. And then we've got that one done. That gives you a gold pack tradable, and then we can move over to the Libertadores and Sudamericana. Now, this one is a little bit expensive at the moment, but will become cheaper over time. But you can see here, you can do this with bronze pack method and silver upgrades. The only ones you have to buy is one team. Once you've bought one team, so what I do is, for example, the right back, sorry, no, the right mid, the right winger, and we had ourselves the, where's the other player going? That's from the same team. Well, I bought five from the end. So I went and picked one team and bought five from that I had one of, and then the rest I just packed from Boone, the SPCs and stuff like that. Here's a small prime players pack tradable. And then overall, we get ourselves an 82 plus rare players pack, which is really good. It's the same pack you get from doing the Prem and La Liga. And that SBC comes in around 20k at the minute. It gets a lot cheaper. It gets around 15,000. So from all those tradable packs, you can see here we're already stacking up packs as well if you want to save them. And we're just getting ourselves in a really good situation. So let's go ahead and open up the small rare gold players pack. What do we get out of this? Nothing crazy, but it looks at probably Thomas Party, which if it is, is going to help us with other SBC. So an 85 for that. And again, an upgrade, League SBC, upgrade, League SBC, a Sanchez that we've just put in that we can't do. So he can go into an upgrade as well. So let's go ahead and complete this last upgrade with our Sanchez. And then we've pretty much covered every single SBC. I'll show you my club after this. You can see what I've completed and what I haven't. Now, the more and more consistent you are with this, the better it is going to be for you. If you just stop one week and don't do it, or you stop two, three weeks and not do it, it's going to be harder for you to do. So, for example, our Sanchez, there's a duplicate's gone in. And then what we're going to do now is just go through every single league one by one, high to low. So we always put in 82 as our highest rated, never any higher than 82s. The reason being is we always need 83s and more. So we're going to the women's league in here, nothing we can use. Let's go to the Bundesliga women's. We've got ourselves a lot of goals here. And you just want to go through one by one of every single one of these leagues and putting in every off-league player you have. And as you can see here, we've got one more goal to go. So all we're going to do now is skip down and we're going to go to the La Liga F, which is the women's La Liga. And that one's been done. So we've recycled our Sanchez into this, completed another one of the milestones of the crafting. We've not really spent a penny. And now the reason why I haven't spent a penny is because I do this all the time. So like I say, the more consistent you are with it, the better off you are. Let me go ahead and show you my club now and explain to you why I have in my club and how I got it. So I'm going to go over to the SBC so you don't get cluttered with loans and stuff like that that the game puts in. So we completed Zidane. I managed to get this Harry King from the campaign upgrade. Mbappe was the player of the month for 10 minutes for red. Gold, De Bruyne isn't too much to shout about. Team of the Week, Hansen came from the Team of the Week upgrade. The Viali came from the League SBC when he was out. We packed Ruud van Nistelrooy from the upgrades in terms of doing League SBCs and much more. Van Dyke came from the Team of the Week pick. Casillas from the Icon SBC. Then we have this woman here. Patri we got from the upgrade grind. Player of the Month, Simon, we did from the grind. Batcher we did from the grind. Love from the Icon SBC. Complete Gabriel Martinelli did a video on how I did that yesterday. Lippmanum came from the grind. Cancelo came from the grind. Cantona came from an Icon SBC. Again, we got Owen in the previous video I just uploaded. Blanc, we did as an SPC. Company from a player pick. Hero player pick. Hero player pick. Hero player pick. These three came from the grind. Lee Chang in was an SPC that we completed. And then again, uh, Hero SPC, Hero SPC. And then you can see it just goes on and on and on and on. 
This is how you play the game. It's going to take you a lot of time, but once you get really good at it, you're going to get a lot of first owner untradeables where you can just keep going through round and round and round. If you have any questions, comment down below. It was a long video, but I wanted to break down why this is the best grind, and I will catch you in the next one. Tomorrow is going to be, I believe, what day are we on? Sunday. So Monday, which is Christmas Day, I will upload two videos for you guys. And what you're going to do there is, um, basically, you're going to get upgrades for Monday, and then you can do it extra, extra, extra grinds on top. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, press the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.